What's going on guys, Zach Perny here, and today's video is pretty much gonna be a day in my life, typically with a focus on what I'm eating, just a full day on a plate as we're getting ready for summer. So my goal is fat loss, so I'm gonna show you guys pretty much what my, my fat loss diet looks like. Now, before we get into today's video, I just wanna give a quick thank you and shout out to the sponsor of today's video, and that is Intel for sending me out this Dell XPS 13. And so we're gonna go through pretty much a run through of what my typical work day looks like as well. So obviously lately since launching my clothing company, Slash Potato, and trying to grow my online coaching business, it has been very, very hectic. Uh, and this laptop has helped me enormously. So here are a few benefits that I've found. Uploading content to YouTube and communicating with my team is much faster and more reliable thanks to Intel Wi-Fi 6. Intel Wi-Fi 6 solutions enable the fastest wireless speeds for PCs, more responsive performance, fast upload and download speed, and enhanced security and reliability. The 11th gen Intel Core processors make editing so much easier and enables me to quickly switch between applications while running day-to-day -day tasks whether that's with my clothing business, managing YouTube, or handling my online workout plans. I'm able to quickly export footage in 4K with the Intel Iris XE graphics, and the instant wake feature is a bonus if I'm late for meetings. Sorry I'm late. No, you're good, we're just getting started. Another amazing feature is the mobility and battery power. It has extremely fast charging and a battery life designed to last all day. So I think my favorite thing about the Intel Evo based Dell XPS 13 is the battery life, the mobility, the portability of everything. With my job, I don't often work from the one place, especially if I'm moving around. Often I do a lot of work and different like admin tasks in bed. So there's like, there's so many different places where I work and there's nothing worse than just running out of power. So this will not, this just has not died on me at all. And it lasts pretty much all day. So for me, super handy with what I do. And especially when I'm traveling, when I'm traveling and I wanna work, I need something super portable and mobile. And this is just, amazing for that. So these features have all improved my productivity and also make sure that my workflow remains uninterrupted across multiple businesses. So now that we've discussed the work component, we're gonna jump into the first meal of the day. So breakfast, this is a typical example of a breakfast for me. Uh, it is around 12 p.m. now, so I usually fast until that time. That way it gives me a little bit more calories to eat in a single meal and I don't really get hungry now. My body's just used to it. I don't get hungry until around 12 or one, so that's handy. Um, and then pretty much I'll have something like this. So maybe bagel, with uh, some eggs, like smoked salmon on the side, or avocado, uh, and then I'll have a egg white omelet as well on, on the side, just to increase the protein, plus it keeps you super full. Egg white omelets is probably the most filling, uh, low calorie option uh, you can ever have on a diet. So if I'm really hungry, that's always in there. So I thought I'd show you guys that today. Super easy though. Trick with the old scrambled, super hot pan. Some butter on there. Keep it moving. And I like to cook mine still, I guess you could call it rare. Still soft, and then it kind of, I reckon it keeps cooking. So let's go. Now for the omelet. This is just around probably 200, 250 mils egg whites, one egg. Then to cook this, straight into the griller. That way it cooks the top, you don't have to worry about flipping it. It's just very, very easy. Now that's pretty much cooked. Bit of fake cheese here, low fat cheese. Full whack it on and just melt that. And then that all like puffs up in there. Give it a flip over, make some room on here. Sometimes I would have a, a smoothie or a shake instead of the uh, egg white omelet. Then a bit of low sugar sauce. And bang. Uh, I'll eat this and then get stuck into some more work. So now time for the gym. Um, sometimes I train fasted, other times around around this time, kind of like 3 p.m.-ish. Um, and I don't have any pre-workout like meals or carbs per se. Um, I literally just have this, which makes all the difference. So I have my pre-workout, the pride, and then I have about a quarter of a teaspoon salt. It's pure hell. Oh. Uh, and that does the job. The pumps from that with my pre-workout are just crazy. So I'm gonna do some arms today, um, take you guys along, and then take you back for the post-workout meal, which is my favorite.
So in this we have about 100 grams of cereal, uh, one scoop of whey, some mixed berries. I like to have them frozen, just chuck them in there. That way it actually just keeps it really cool. Uh, whatever milk you're choosing, I have almond milk, uh, some honey, and some cinnamon. And that is, that is this meal. This is my favorite, purely because it's just so sweet. So um, I pretty much will have this every day. So even if I train super early in the morning and then this will be my first meal as, as breakfast, um, just because it's just a carb bomb, really. I think it makes the most sense to put the majority of your carbs in uh, post-workout, just if there is any chance that they're gonna be utilized a bit better um, to go to muscle glycogen or whatever that is, the replenishment, uh, may as well stick them in there. So I, I generally don't believe it matters too much, but personally, if I'm eating like sugars, putting honey in this and having a cereal, I'd rather have it post-workout if there is a slight chance that it's gonna be more beneficial. So yeah, this is just, this is one of the favorites, just heaven. Didn't stand a chance. I actually feel bad for that cereal and the bowl because the whole thing, it was just doomed from the beginning. Um, <laughs> next meal we're gonna do obviously is dinner. Uh, usually I would like to have, uh, ideally I'd like to have either something with a bit more substance, so steak or salmon, uh, I'll, I'll keep the carbs low with dinner. This is the last bit of my carbs for the day. But tonight we're doing uh, chicken salad, which uh, I'm gonna show you guys. It's, it's my favorite meal lately, I just it's just so nice and keeps me full, but mainly it just tastes amazing. So if you're sick of uh, bland, boring chicken, give this one a go. Chicken salad, this is so good. As much salad as you like to keep yourself full, pretty much. So for me, that equals a massive bowl. Um, and we have two kinds of chicken tonight. So this chicken thighs, which is, I think, the best chicken I've ever had in my life. And I'll also put a bit of the air fried chicken breast on there, just because it's also so good. So I don't weigh this as well. This is pretty much just intuitive. Uh, I think I've had it so many times, I just know. Yeah, that's perfect. Cupy, cubes. <laughs> On top like that. This is the best. When things like Cupy mayo when you're dieting, or for me, I'm trying to lose body fat, it's just heaven. It's got calories, of course, but it just makes the diet so much more worthwhile. Especially like putting panko crumbs on chicken. Just don't make it bland, you'll stick to it. Like, look at that, that's just, that's heaven. So, um, that's dinner. This is gonna be my last meal tonight. Uh, sometimes if I didn't have, say, a post-workout meal or something like that, I might have a dessert. But tonight, this will this will keep me full. I might have some more salad later. Um, and that is it. I'll check in with you guys in the morning. So guys, that is it for this video. So essentially, this is my diet for and routine for the next probably two to three weeks, and then I'll probably make some changes, take some calories out, maybe put some more uh, satiating, like high volume foods in, so I can keep you guys updated with another video on that. And again, a huge shout out to Intel for sending me out the Dell XPS 13. It has greatly improved the productivity of my days and workflow, so if you guys wanna check that out, I would highly recommend it. The description has all the links uh, that you guys need for more information. Um, and otherwise, I have nothing left for you guys. I did hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you know what to do. But if you don't, stay massive.